Ligari Nation. On today's video, we're showing you how we coated these countertops to give them a beautiful look. Our kits can go right over wood, formica, granite, tile, and more. When you order a kit from us, we send you step-by-step -step tutorial videos that explain the whole process. We're with you every step of the way. Visit our website to look at our kit options or customize your own to fit your style. Now let's get started on this project. All right guys, so we're ready to pour the product out again. Once you get that mix, try to get it out of the bucket as soon as you can. You can create designs with a, on, the, on the black primer, just dragging a paint stick through it. You'll be able to see that line if you wanna create a pattern to follow. Other colors, you can use Sharpies, pencils, whatever you want, and you can kind of map out a pattern. This one, I'm just gonna go random, dump the two colors out really random, and then I'm gonna blend them with a the squeegee random also. So just keep in mind, if you have an island right or a different spot you're coating you want to make sure you get the same amount of color everywhere throughout the counter project that you're doing so we don't want to just go through pour you know 90 percent of our gray out on this section while we have an island still to do okay so we kind of want to jump around make sure we're hitting color on all the spots of the counters that we are coating and so i'm just going to start with the gray and again i'm just going to pour it out randomly So for spreading it, we're gonna be using our Ligari squeegees cut down. They simply cut with a skill saw and you can make them any size you want. You can even cut them on the sides of the handle so you have a handle to it. And all I'm gonna do is I wanna just fill in 
all the bare spots. We have plenty of resin out here, but 20, 30 minutes, this would probably level out and coat everything, but we want to move it quick. We don't want to wait. And the more you blend it, the more colors that you're going to get, the, the more dispersing effects you'll get. If, if we just sprayed this with isopropyl right now, nothing would really happen. Once we blend these colors um, and then we spritz it with the isopropyl, we're going to get a lot more cells, a lot more dispersing effects. So I just misted it with denatured alcohol. Like I said, guys, that's gonna help it lay out glass smooth and it's not gonna affect your design. So if you're not trying to get the dispersing effects, the cells, um, you want more of a subtle look, you could just simply mist it with denatured alcohol and you're not gonna get those craters and, and dispersing effects that you get when we spritz it with isopropyl alcohol. Mm -hmm. 